What's going on, Commanders? How we doing today? It's your boy, Chicken Tenders, here to talk to you about Marvel Strong Time. That's it. We know that you're used to seeing Cerebro here. Cerebro got lost in the White Claw aisle of his local liquor store. So that's why I, Chicken Tenders, am showing up to help you get your information. Remember, Marvel Strong Force is 100% the best way for you to get all the information we want you to have about the game. Never forget that. We're here for you. So, let's talk about the last week. Bunch of exciting stuff has happened, right? We have Doctor Doom coming out. Who's ready for that? That's going to be great, man. We look at Doctor Doom and all we see, green arrows pointing up, which is positive. Because it's going to be great for everybody. I know everybody's excited about getting to level 80 and excited about challenging themselves in Dark Dimension 4. Which is why we're adding a whole bunch of packs to the game that you're going to see real soon. None of them will cost cores, so don't worry about that. If you don't have any cores, not going to be a big deal. Just regular money. The first one, you're going to soon be able to buy all those brand new materials that you've been waiting on that we just added into the game that you need to get to gear tier 15. You're going to be able to buy them in packs of two. Make it real simple. This way, you know, if you're close, you only have to buy one or two and uh, they're going to be $29.99 each. So all those new pieces of material that you've only been able to start farming now, don't worry, in the next week or two, we're going to put them on sale for you. Not an issue, guys. Everything else, as we can see right now, some people are already at level cap, which we assume is par for the course with most players in the game. Uh, we imagine that most players in our game will reach level 80 within the next day or two. Um, and we saw the players that we're tracking anyway. I'm not sure if there's any other players, but the ones that we see on our little list. But from what we've seen, most players are already on their way, if not at level 80. So that's what we believe. So we're going to put these packs in to help offer a little bit of a speed up to get into Dark Dimension 4 when we put it uh, for availability in the game, probably in about a week or two. Another thing we're going to add to the game over the next couple of weeks is your ability to purchase and bank an excess number of Dark Dimension charges. We've already added a pack and a couple of those have seen some really good sales. So we are assuming you guys like them. So now we're going to have more frequent offers of Dark Dimension energy. Clearly, Dark Dimension is one of those game modes where you're going to constantly be buying energy for and you're going to pay as much attention as you can even after you've beaten it once or twice because that's how you can determine your status in this game how quickly you beat dark dimension whatever the newest one what are we for four 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 dark dimension four and the reward of doom is going to be yours as soon as you beat it as quickly as you beat it so you guys are going to buy all these packs and have a great time now to turn it down some players are pretty new in this game you know not everybody has spent a good deal of money to unlock all the characters some people have spent a good deal of money to work on very specific characters and that's a great thing we support that too so we've heard that it's important that you guys keep track of when the legendaries come around and Instead of giving you like a you know a checklist or something as to when it's going to happen, we do really do like delivering this information the week before, just so you can be a week prepared for everything. I think that's a reasonable amount of time. So from all of our records, right now the legendary that you guys are going to see, the one that you guys are so excited about, is right here. It is Nick Fury, guys. It's Dark Dimension One is going to be cleared with Nick Fury. You guys are going to have a blast in use. Sorry, wait, what? What do you mean he's not useful anymore? No one's buying Kree? Where are the Kree unlocking Nick Fury? I don't... Don't give me the details. Why are we talking about him then? All right. Sure. All right. So I've just been informed that you guys don't really like Nick Fury. Um... Or he's not really that useful, or most people have him already, or don't really care about him. So, 
congratulations on your relaxing break from events. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, here's Nick Fury. I guess he's good for war. Great. Uh, do we have some good news? Okay, yeah, no, we got some good news for you now. You ready? So we've taken your feedback. We actually put a poll on Facebook, you know, where all of you guys go to give all of your uh, high-end elite commander uh, advice and information. And we polled Facebook. We asked the 45 million people uh, on our Facebook group. Million. Yeah. We asked them what they wanted to see out of Blitz. And there was a lot of different answers. Some people said they want more carnage. Some people said they wanted symbiote Spider-Man. But the one thing that everybody agreed on is what we're going to give you. And not only are we going to give it to you, we're going to give you four weeks of it. Because we listen and we want to make sure the community gets what they want. So just so you guys are aware, for the next four weeks, every blitz, Luke Cage, that's what you guys wanted, that's what we're giving you. Four weeks, one whole month of Luke Cage blitzes. We're going to try to fit extra blitzes in there. We're going to replace the Red Star blitz with another Luke Cage blitz. We're going to make Luke Cage's drop rate in premium orbs triple. Is he not in premium orbs? Put him in. It'll be fine. We're going to get you as much Luke Cage. Because not only does the poll say that, but according to all of our metrics, nobody's farming Luke Cage. So he must be that hard to come by. So we're just going to help you guys get him as fast as you can. That's our gift to you. You don't have to thank us, commanders. We're doing it for you. Anyway, the next thing we're going to do, I have to check my little pad here. This is the first time you have to bear with me. We're going to check in with one of our developers. Apparently, that's a thing we do. We talk to the people who work for me, us, you, and we, uh, we get their opinion on stuff. And uh, right now, it seems like we have a great developer here. We have the guy the mastermind behind Dark Dimension. All of them, every single one. This guy did it all. We have DD Dave ready to talk to you. So we'll just get a minute for Dave to come on in. I'd like to say right now, welcome to DD Dave, the mastermind behind all things Dark Dimension. Tell us about yourself. Well, first of all, thank you, Chicken. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, just a regular developer looking for new ways to improve the quality of gameplay and not to mention for all the commanders out there. <laughs> I'm your guy. Oh man, that's great. C can you uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you go about tuning Dark Dimension? That's what a lot of players ask. A lot of players need to know. Hey, what's the idea behind Dark Dimension? I personally have read many people say something like, "Wow." Whoever's designing Dark Dimension 3 must really, in all caps, know how to program. That's a compliment, man. Could you could you explain a little bit about your process? Oh, sure. First, first, um, I start the way that we always do, right? I mean, we, we add a number of Mordos and we add a few Draxes to the node. Somewhere between two and five seems to be good around there. And then I pick apart teams like Shield or brotherhood and add them as i see fit you know basically about well, anywhere between 25 and 45 total characters you know it depends on depends on the situation by the way i hope you like my ponytail uh let's whip it back and forth every every now and again uh, you know so, sorry sorry about that yeah so then i then i divide them randomly into groups and evade and make sure that the board is always full you know of course you know some of the more challenging fights you know i i, I quite agree whoa that seems like a lot of work. What happens next? Well, then I take the best teams in the game and I and I essentially click auto. If they lose, I, I increase the health and the damage values of the characters in the game by, you know, anywhere around, you know, 50%. 50% sorry, I've, I've had some supplies I can't really, you know, quantify. You know, and of course, if they win, then I increase them by about 200%. And then, you know, of course, go ahead and try them again fascinating man i can feel mm, the deep enriching gameplay unfold in your words 
Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. So I, I don't have, if you don't have to spend cores to revive characters to feel progress, are you even accomplishing anything? Seriously, you gotta ask yourself that question. Well, thanks for that insight. Uh, any secrets, any like tiny little things you want to give out to the community to let them know? Well, in reality, I can't really say much, um, but what I can say while building them, while building optimal teams will always be a great way to start. You know, you have to look out as well. You know, I, I believe looking out for those dark dimension heal packs <laughs> offers to help you progress through the harder nodes. You know, like the ones, like the all iron fist node that everyone seems to love. All right, thanks so much for your time, DD Dave. Have a great weekend. All right, guys. So normally we'd have somebody do the community spotlight right now, but unfortunately, Zeke's is also not available because she realized that she's kind of better than this. So I'm going to do that too. We're going to lead off with a bunch of posts from our uh, Discord, uh, basically the meme section of our Discord. Uh, and of course, the link to our Discord is right below, so you can jump in and check that out. Here's a bunch of memes. Just throwing them up. They're not even going to talk about them. Just people posted memes. Whatever. And then the second thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the people who post on the Facebook group. Oh, this doesn't make us any money? Like no ad revenue or anything? We're just... All right, we're not going to talk about the Facebook group or this Read It group that I keep hearing about. doesn't matter. None of that matters for what we're trying to do here. What we are going to do is take this last opportunity to do a community spotlight on a content creator, and that content creator is Goofy Rexy. Goofy Rexy is a newer content creator to Marvel Strike Force, but a player of the game nonetheless. Started uh, strong, is streaming, is got YouTube content, is putting it out there. So if you have an opportunity, you check out Goofy, and I'll put links in the description below. Well, I won't. Someone will. So you guys can say hi to Goofy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you coming here for the number one premier source of Marvel Strong Force information right here, Marvel Strong Time. And remember, get f***ing commanders.